but it's your boy Reggie. Yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in and watching this video. Go ahead and stop, hit that like button, hit subscribe, do all that good stuff because I need that, please. Oh. Yeah, but seriously, hit that subscribe button. I'm posting a lot of content now, so go ahead and do the thing. If you have not watched my other previous videos, please go ahead and do that too, because I talked about, you know, my story of being dumped by somebody, and also I didn't have tutorials, so please just go down there, like, watch, hit, subscribe, like. Today's video, I'm going to be doing unpopular opinions but mine. I don't know if it's yours, but it's the mine. I have something to say. I mean, we about to get nasty. I'm just gonna just say whatever comes to my mind. If you don't like what I'm about to say, I'm sorry, but it came out of my mouth and what I said is what I said and I'm not taking it back, you know? It's too late now because by the time this video gets up here, I'm already, you know, it's on there, it's on YouTube. So, shall we get started? Let's get into this video. Let's do the dang old thing. How about that? First unpopular opinion is I'm not even gonna say her name because I don't really know want to say her name and I don't really care to say her name. Bruh. But the girl from Cash Me Outside, I do not like her at all. I feel like she just ripping all black culture. Every time! Bruh. I just feel like she out here just thinking she's about that life. Every time! Bruh. Seriously, I don't think she is about that life. I honestly do not understand why she even have a Snapchat series. So it was just like, girl, I don't, I, like, you know the whole Cash Me Outside, you know, a little saying, love me and everything. It was kind of fun, it was kind of cool. But now things are just taking out of hand, you know. Every time! Yeah. Her trying to be a rapper, her trying to do all this stuff, her trying to talk and how she behaves and carry herself. To me personally, I do not like her because it's just like, you basically feel like that's just how black people are. Every time! Yeah. So you taking that and you running with it and it's making us look a certain particular kind of way. I do not like that. Like, that's just me as a black person. I may be wrong. But I'm not wrong for how I feel right now. So yeah, I don't like her. I don't like her. It's just, I just don't like her. I don't think she should be doing the things that she doing. Well, I mean, I can't stop her doing the things she's doing, but I just do not agree or get behind her or what she stands for, right? My next unpopular opinion is people who are not black using the N word. It's disgusting. I don't know about y'all, but I've had friends I've had Different people that I've come in contact with who has, uh, you know, got comfortable with me and they just thought they could just drop the N-word. It's disgusting. Let me tell you something. What, my question is for white people, because that's mainly the people I feel like we want to say it. What do you get out of just saying the N-word? And why do you want to say the N-word? Like, it comes from a negative place. I just feel like nobody should say the N-word at all. I don't even feel like black people should even say the N-word. That's just me, and that's just my opinion. Again, that's why it's unpopular opinions. That's just me. But yeah, I don't feel like nobody should be using the N-word. I feel like nobody should be dragging the N-word. I don't feel like none of that. I just feel like it just really irritates me sometimes. Or, let me not lie, it don't irritates me. But it just really just confuses me. It disturbs me. Seeing someone who is not black feel like they're cool and they're about that life to say the N word. It says a problem. It said like there's not a problem with saying the N word in general. And it's just like, no, just no, no, like no, and not at all. Not at all. It's disgusting. So, my next unpopular opinion if you are not down for the cause, don't try to be like, or act like you are a for the cause when you really aren't. And let me tell you what I'm saying when I say this. I have met quite a few people, again, who are not black, and they wanna jump in black culture, they wanna do all this stuff. <laughs> and granted, like, it's cool, you like you like our culture, you like what we do, and it's just, again, for the non-black people, but mostly white people, because I see this more. Like, it is fine. But if shit goes left or things go left, and if you run back to like your parents, you can run back to your safe haven because things did not go right and you thought it was just cool to walk around and act like this and be like this. But when a police officer ready to roll up or, you know, a drive-by is happening or something serious is about to happen, you can run back to that safe space and run back to your privilege. 
stand your privilege. Like, don't feel like you have to act a certain way and not be down for the cause. Not try to act like you about that life. But when things go left, Anyways, but when things go left, just don't run back. Like, I just feel like if you're down for the cause, if stuff go left, stay there. And if you really about that life, if you really feel like you are down for the cause for black people and what we go through, do that. Stay there. Like, if somebody right now, if you my friend, if you are non-black, and if you, we going out do something, if a police officer decides to roll up and act racist and come at me and say all this stuff, I'm not asking for you to jump in the, and just defend me. But I'm just saying, if things go left the way, you know, all the videos of, Black people being treated crazy by police officers. Don't sit there and run off and leave me there high and dry. Because I'm going to be like, do I acting like you're dying for the cause, but you're not because you just left me high and dry. Like, and I've seen that a number of times. Though. I've seen like white people just be like, oh, yeah, gang, gang, do, 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 do. Want to drop the N-word. Yeah. When things happen, when things go left, when things go, when things just happen, when you didn't expect for them to happen, you run back to where, you know, your safe place. Which leaves me to say this. White privilege is active, it is alive, and it is current, and it's still something that happens. For some reason, when you talk to white people about it, it's just like, well, I don't think I have any white privilege. Let me get you tired of hearing white privilege. White privilege, white privilege. Oh my gosh, you're trying to come at me. You're trying to make me feel bad. No, it's just really what goes on in life. Like white privilege is a thing. Like I'm sorry. Now I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion. That's a popular opinion, but I do know that some people hate hearing white privilege. But it's a thing. Speaking of white people, this whole Jordan situation with the Kardashians, all in honesty, I'm on the Jordan side. I am not with the Kardashians. I'm not with Chloe. I honestly just felt like they just used that girl and made her look bad. We're all together. We're in a group. Never once did we leave the public area, go to a bedroom, go to a bathroom. We're all in plain sight. And, and she had no clothes trying to run around and put on social media and say that, you know, old Jordan wrecked our home. Somebody can correct me and somebody can let me know because I might be wrong. But when is it you're ruining or wrecking a home if you just kiss somebody? I don't personally know. Like, I just really just feel like Chloe is just using that girl to escape her relationship with Tristan because things were just not going right in the first place. But she wouldn't just use her as an scapegoat and make her look bad. And, th and that is just my opinion. And that's just how I feel. I don't feel like nobody should be coming at Jordan. I don't feel like nobody should be calling her her name. I hate that people have been dragging her through social media, on social networks and stuff. It's disgusting. But that girl got to grind. That girl got things going on. That girl's out here trying to make money like everybody else. I don't see why everybody just claim at her and call her like reckless things and saying so many mean things about her with not even getting her side of the story. It's disgusting. And that to me bothers because you can't always just run with one story that you've heard. You gotta hit the other person's story regardless. So they never gave Jordan a chance. So therefore I'm on Jordan's side. I don't think Jordan did anything wrong. And Kylie can just go suck one. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Speaking of which, I don't really like the Kardashians in general. I just personally feel like they just rip off black culture and benefit from it and they don't give any like recognition to black people for it. It's disgusting. They just do it and they just feel like it could be cute and then get away with it and they just think like, oh, you know, we could just go, go ahead and post pictures of us and get butt injections and look cute and, you know what I'm saying, walk around or get all these lip fillers and do all that stuff and get really big lips and put it on there and, you know, but it's just like for years and for me, and this is just me, I feel like black people have always had those features that they go for, most of them, not all of them. And it's just like, for people to give them praises from looking that particular way, when I know in general, black people has been looking that way and has been criticized a bit. The butt of every joke, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. <laughs> but like, yeah, but like, when we did those things in the past, it was just like, people always gave us negative, a negative side to those things. But now that the Kardashians do that, it's positive. Everybody wants to do it. Now everybody wants to have a big butt. Not everybody wants to have big lips. Not everybody wants to have big features. But when you have people, and not even just black people, other people of a national attitude who have had big features, now it's just like, now we can give praises to people who have big features. And on the side of with the Kardashians, I also just felt like, you know, and this is kind of piggybacking off of what Jackie Anna said in her video, is I honestly just feel like the Kardashians use black people and I feel like they just try to make us black people look worse than what we are. You do you though, like by all means. 
Like every black person that Chloe has been with, she always has flipped the script and made those black men who she have dated, you know, people who have cheated on her, cheated on her wrong, you know, things just didn't work out. And it was just all these things surfaced about, oh, you know, this person Chloe was big, this the truth comes out, this is all the things that's going on now. But it's just like, in my opinion, I think Chloe be doing stuff too, but Chloe's not on up to it. Chloe just gets on social media and runs her damn mouth and then makes every black person who she have ever dated as a man or just look bad in general. And that's why I feel like even with the whole Jordan situation, that's just the same thing. Like she just took someone who is black and they just basically, Kardashians and the Jenners, that I just feel like they just use black people. And then when they done, they throw them to the left. What the hell wrong with y'all for real? After they get done using them, they have they basically say all these negative things about them to make them look bad in social media. What the hell wrong with y'all for real? So people can call them out their name, people can have a certain perspective towards them. The whole juicy situation. Woo! We ain't gotta go into much detail, but honestly for me. I'm not mad at Juicy. I'm still not mad at him. I mean, that's just my opinion. I said it, you know. I'm not mad at Juicy. Juicy did what he did. He tried to stay relevant. I mean, he could have gone about that in a better way. Yes, he shouldn't have done all the stuff that he did. Yes, he shouldn't have not taken it that far and made it a whole situation out of the woods. You know, seeing that this is kind of true and that's what he did. But at the same sense, though, I feel like, you know, I still support him. I am with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, you know, him as a person who's in, you know, in the black community, I feel like we should still support him, even though he has done things he should have not done. And even though he has done said things he has not said. At the end of the day, for me to just jump at him and criticize him and belittle him and make him feel like he's less than, I don't feel like that's all I fall for. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stand behind Juicy, not, not supporting and giving him praise for what he did, but just to me, being one of those people who gives some support, and I'm not gonna sit here and just talk bad about it, be like, yeah, you messed up, but at the end of the day, you're human, we all make mistakes, so I'm gonna give you that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The harachas, I think that's what you call them, those Nike shoes, they are freaking ugly. I am tired of people wearing those. I am tired of seeing people go with some harachas. I want some harachas. No, that those shoes are ugly. They are ugly to it. me. You would never catch me with those type of Nikes. Now Nikes, I love Nike. Nike. Nike is a good company, a good brand. And I stick behind them as well. But those Harachis are ugly as you know what. They just ugly. They just ugly. Like they ugly. On top of that, we see Nike going from Harachis to the little ugly sandals. Those sandals are ugly. Those Jesus 15s and those Jesus 11s are ugly. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you will never catch me by those sandals. Those sandals, all of them. Every last sandal that you made, Nike, they're ugly. They just do not fit. They just do not look good. It makes me freaking want to throw up. Makes me want to pee on myself when I think about that. Like, ugh. ugly Harajas. Like, they're just ugly. That's just my opinion. Hate me. Bite me. Fight me. So you know who the fuck I be? That's it for all of my opinions that I have. That's just Reginald's, Spalding's, unpopular opinions. That's just how I feel, you know? And again, I'm not hateful. I am not a mean person, but I do not always follow or agree with, with the opinions of other people. And I feel like I just wanna make this video and I wanna make that clear because that's just not me. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a subscribe, leave comments, leave anything say whatever you want to say Be, leave your opinion because i said my opinions you say your opinions you do what you want to do you say what you want to say but one thing i do ask that you do is to subscribe <laughs>